All right, guys, this next segment, I'm gonna be talking about the lift dink. Um, so keep in mind in pickleball, there's two different types of dinks. There's a lift dink and a push dink. A push dink um, is usually a ball that's up a little higher. It's up in your yellow zone. Um, it's when you're looking to be a bit more offensive. Um, usually it's when you have time, when you're stable in the correct location and the ball is in yellow, obviously. Um, but all in all, you're, you're only looking to use a push dink when you recognize that you cannot outlift your opponent and um, you would also use a push dink when you recognize that maybe your opponents are simply or just better dinkers than you and you probably have to turn the knob a bit more and look to create more ways to be offensive and that comes by winning the dinking exchange or being more offensive with your dinking that can lead into a speed up. Uh, but this segment we're talking about lifting. So lifting are times when you'd wanna lift if somebody is hitting a push dink at you and you don't have enough time to recover or you don't have enough time to uh, set up for a push dink or it's in your red zone, uh, it has you scrambling, it has you off balance. Uh, Any time that you feel like you're in deep water, I guarantee you're probably hitting a lift dink. Any time you're on defense, you're always hitting a lift dink. Uh, do know that good defense is good offense. So um, I would get very comfortable with that six to 12 lifting motion um, as you get playing defense or as you get scrambling, do know that a lift dink uh, is almost identical to you hitting a third shot drop from back there, okay? Um, so, so you're gonna find that if you're comfortable lifting from here, you're gonna be comfortable lifting from transition, and you will also be comfortable from lifting back here as you hit a drop. It's the same technique. Um, so something that I really wanted to, to paint there was that just plain and simple, uh, anytime you're on defense, anytime you're scrambling, anytime that you feel like you're in deep water, you have to trust your lift dink and you have to trust that you can use high margin for air with that lift dink. Um, but with using high margin for air, you can be utilizing this shallow zone. So it's a lifting um, uh, usually comes with using margin for air to buy yourself time. Why? Because you're usually uh, on or in some sort of like defensive position. Um, but with that, uh, use your height, but aim nice and shallow. Okay guys, uh, drill portion for 2.5 and 3.0. Uh, this is gonna be our first progression. We are gonna be uh, integrating a ball and we're gonna be tossing back and forth. Um, this is a, uh, a good early uh, progression for understanding how to properly hit a lift dink, how to properly keep the hand position still, and, and then also too, really just how to start using that lever from the shoulder. So we're gonna be cooperative. We're just gonna toss back and forth for probably one or two minutes here. Okay, nice and easy. Find our good athletic stance. Okay, tossing. I want the ball to bounce in front of my partner. And if I were to split the kitchen in half, let's say, you know, here's the kitchen here, seven feet. Here's my three and a half foot imaginary line. I wanna to toss towards that imaginary line. Um, as I'm hitting my lift dink, I'm thinking that there's a clock in front of me. I'm starting at six and I'm finishing at 12. And when the ball releases from my fingers, I'm pausing my hand position. I'm pausing. Okay, very good. And I'm pausing. Good. I may even do a couple on the backhand side as well. Why? This would be just like hitting a backhand lift dink. Okay, good. Giving myself some margin, giving myself some height, but with that, I am tossing shallow. I'm using my legs, I'm connecting my legs with my shoulder. Okay, tossing the baby bird. Okay, or if this was a baby bird, I am tossing her and I'm not, and I'm not flinging her. Okay, or Think about kissing the baby versus, versus slapping the baby. Okay, second progression here. Now we both have a ball and we both have a paddle, okay? We are gonna be dropping and hitting uh, in a lifting manner, okay? Lifting manner, getting, getting the paddle face underneath the ball, going six to 12, keeping the hand positioning still, leading with the palm on the forehand and leading with the knuckles on the backhand, okay? So we're gonna do this together. Back and forth, we'll probably go for about one or two minutes here. Ready here? Lift and trap. Lift and trap, good, again. Lift and trap. When you, when you lift, make sure you pause at the point of contact. Okay, again, ready? Toss and pause, good. 
Toss and pause. Good, again, a couple more. Beautiful, again. Okay, same idea here, but now on the backhand side. Ready? Backhand side, good. Okay, getting that good shape. Okay, leading with the knuckles here, pushing from the shoulder. You should be able to feel your shoulder working in here, okay? Again, everything's connected, using big body parts. Do know that all of your control and all of your power comes from the ground up. So if you're doing this exercise with your legs being upright and you're using your wrist, you are not doing it correctly, okay? Um, ready here, a couple more here, Jim. Good. Okay, perfect. Okay, uh, third progression here. We're gonna implement that same drill as we did in our second one, but now we're gonna keep the ball in play. Okay, so we're gonna feed at the same time, but with that, we're gonna try to keep the rally continuous uh, uh, as we're hitting liftings. Okay, ready here? And go. Good, nice and easy. Slowing this down. Let's, let's see if we can get the balls to kiss each other. Kissy, kissy. Oh, come on, Jim. Come on, man, it's our, it's, it's our first date. There we go, uh-huh. There we go, again, again, again. Ready here, and let's count it down together. One, two, three, and go. Perfect. Good, nice and easy. Pause at the point of contact. Hey, 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 hey. Quit getting flirty with my ball over there. Quit getting flirty, man. Okay, again, ready? Okay, ready here, one, two, three, and go. Good, this is a good little hand and eye coordination drill. Also a good drill. Uh, to be cooperative with your partner, uh, make yourself alert. If you're one of those people that like to look to see how pretty your dink is, this drill will, will be a great benefit to you. Hey Picklers, if you enjoyed this instructional video, do me a favor, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn those notifications on. Okay, fourth drill here. Um, so we have a cone positioned in the middle of the uh, kitchen here. Okay, and so this cone uh, represents uh, uh, the, the shallow zone, okay? So both Jim and I are gonna be uh, looking to dink in the shallow zone uh, as, as we're hitting liftings, okay? So lifting, we're gonna dink shallow, but with dinking shallow, we, we can give ourselves plenty of margin for, I think this is a great drill for, for you to kind of surprise yourself to a certain degree uh, and get comfortable with how shallow you can actually dink, because like, I feel like a lot of us really don't dink in that shallow zone. Um, do know that from a, from a technical standpoint, uh, kissing the baby, not slapping the baby, or just kissing the butt of the ball uh, in this exercise really helps with getting the ball shallow. Okay, rock and roll, ready here, nice and easy. Both dink and shallow, Jim. Good, good, nice and soft. I'm just kissing the back of it, give myself a little height to work with. Beautiful, good. Good. Again, lifting up. Good. Lifting up. Again, lifting up. And lifting up. And speed up. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dang it. He was ready. Dang it, he was ready. Uh huh. Good. Yes. Okay. Okay. Very good. All right guys, game portion for 2.5 and 3.0. We're gonna keep the cones out here from our last drill. Uh, uh, Coach Jim is gonna be aiming for my cone. I'm gonna be aiming for his. Uh, but with aiming there, we are gonna keep that six to 12 uh, lifting manner, okay? So nice and easy. Uh, let's go first person to hit the cone four times is the winner. Loser gets a, gets a spanking. Ready here, here we go, rock it. Oh, this is gonna be kind of tough. Dang it. Dang it. Okay, zero one. Here we go. All right, bring it, bring it, buddy. Okay, come on. Come on. Automatic. Automatic. Ready. Yes. It's too easy. It's too easy, Jim. Two one. Bring it. All right, that a boy. Good. Two, two. I like it. Bring it, man. Come on. Come on. Ah. 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 Shoot. Shoot. Two to three. Okay, here we go. But 
even though this drill looks very simple from a technique standpoint, you will really notice how controlled you are with your hand as you're aiming towards a precise location. Uh, you, will, you will notice just how slow and how, uh, how much feel is in here. So I think not so much uh, from a tactical standpoint, but just from, a, from, from, uh, uh, from like a fundamental standpoint, you will realize that uh, with keeping the hand positioning still, uh, with kissing the baby and not having all this activity, it is much easier to find that location. Okay, uh, two to three, correct? Ready here? Dang it, sucker. Okay, that, that's okay. Perfect, perfect, good.